Gypsy Rose Blanchard has her life back, though it may be more accurate to say that she is actually living her life for the very first time. But the man that she conspired with for the murder that sent her to prison, well, that guy is still locked up, and he will be for the rest of his life. Nicholas Godijan uh, was convicted of the actual hands-on stabbing of Gypsy Rose's mother, Dee Dee. That was in 2015, and since then, his attorneys have tried multiple times to get him a new trial. And their latest appeal claims that Godijan is, quote, he has a diminished capacity, and they say it's due to autism and a low IQ. In short, they say that Gypsy's boyfriend at the time who stabbed Dee Dee Blanchard 17 times was manipulated to do that by someone who was smarter, a.k.a. Gypsy Rose. That is his strategy. And I want to bring in Mark Garagos, legendary trial lawyer, and co-host of the Reasonable Doubt podcast, with Adam Carolla. Um, uh, look, uh, you're the lawyer in this conversation, my friend, but I always thought the time to bring up diminished capacity is when you're at trial, not after you've been convicted and you want another bite at the apple. Well, you're, as a non-lawyer, as always, Ashley, you're very perceptive. What they're trying to say now is that his lawyer at the time didn't do enough, was ineffective in not bringing up a diminished capacity defense. Diminished capacity defense for, for people who aren't in the weeds here basically attacks what's called mens rea, the mental state of the defendant. And you're trying to say that if the mental state was diminished or impacted, that therefore you didn't have the ability to form malice, which is required for murder. If that were the case, if he was convicted of manslaughter because he didn't have malice, he wouldn't be in custody. That's the argument. So it, uh, what, what are they going for here? They want a new trial and they want the charge not to be murder, but manslaughter, which would give him a long sentence, but he'd get out. Is that effectively the strategy? Well, it's it, effectively, if you get a new trial, he would have the ability to interpose, to plead a diminished responsibility, diminished capacity defense. The reason I call it either one, in California, they eliminated it. You remember, Ashley, the um, the uh, Harvey Milk and George Moscone murder and the Dan White Twinkie defense. That was what caused the elimination of diminished responsibility in California. You had Dan White, who was accused of the murder. He claimed, or he got a forensic person up there to claim that he had eaten too much sugar and Twinkies and that that caused the mental condition that didn't allow him to be convicted of murder and just manslaughter. Here you're saying this person was under the Svengali-like influence of the woman who you were just, your package just mentioned, a gypsy, and that in that because of that uh, Svengali-like influence, he didn't have the capacity to form the malice which is necessary for murder. And if he got a new trial, he would prove that. And his lawyers were ineffective for not pursuing that the first time around. That's the argument. And I, I have to leave it there, but I do want to just read this really quickly, because if you're thinking about the, the Svengali-type mind, I want to read from, um, from Gypsy's book. She writes, Nick sent me a letter in 2019, about four years after he got sentenced. I had entered a relationship with a man named Ken, who'd become my fiancé for a brief time, which angered Nick. He found out about my engagement and even Ken's full name through the access he had to my depositions. I wish I had saved the letter to share, but basically Nick said I was committing adultery, that he had taken my virginity, which he didn't, and by God's law, we were married. The letter was reminiscent of his dominant role that he was obsessed with playing out when we had our internet relationship. It's fascinating to hear how eloquent and smart she is and whether he's going to use that, you know, if he gets a shot to try to prove it. As always, I adore you, Mark Garagos. You're like one of the best law professors I've ever had. Just wish I got the JD. Thanks for being on. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.